punishment and enforcement, but also with prevention and intervention. Just a few things I'd add is that in 1993, when I ran for the, for the city council for the first time, Boston, I would say, was a city in, in decline. We had a net population loss in Boston in the late 80s and early 90s, year over year. Today, as you know, living in this area, working and owning businesses in this area, we've had a population increase. Over the last decade or so, maybe as much as 100,000 people. Boston is a city on the move with a great future. If you look back in the late 80s and early 90s, what you would have seen is a very different city with respect to public safety. There was, there was quite four times as many homicides in our city than there are today. Three times as many serious acts of violence as there are today. And for those of you who have seen some of these things, awful things that uh, have been mentioned and have happened in our city, that might be cold comfort, but I just want to let you know that by and large, our city is one of the safest big cities in America. And that took a lot of hard work. That took programming by my office, police department, and organizations like yours that care about public safety and plugging in to these community groups. It's been a real team effort, and crime has been driven down substantially, but we can always do better. Police and prosecutors certainly cannot do it alone, and that's why I'm delighted to see such a large group of citizens plugged into this and very interested in making sure that North End and other neighborhoods of Boston are as safe as they can be. So really it was my pleasure to be here with you this, this afternoon. I can take a few questions if you'd like. One last thing I probably should point out, this gentleman to my left, I've known him since he was 14 years old. We went to the same high school together. He's my high school classmate. So sometimes people say Boston is much a small town as it is a big city. So if he's not doing his job, which I know he's doing to the very best of his ability, give me a call. And if I'm not, give him a call. We'll talk about it. All right? But uh, it's been my pleasure to be here. And there's one last thing I want to say. You probably know this already. I'm a candidate for mayor of Boston. You know, I believe I have the public safety credentials and other visions to, uh, and another vision to take our city from good to great. You can take a look at the answer man.com if you want to learn more about that. I know I'm here primarily for public safety. If you have any questions, I'll take them. If not, I'll sneak out and I thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, one second. Um, I, I would like to mention that Matt Conti is here from NorthamWaterfront.com. Matt, and Matt is filming this meeting. I apologize for not saying that up front. But, um, thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Chuck, you want to say something? Uh, yes, um, okay. if anybody has any questions for the district attorney, then I know you guys have to press it right now. I do. Sure. When you win the mayor of the mayor race, uh, can we give you after the race? Well, thank you for that vote of confidence. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think I'm not going to get a Did Wayne get a fair trial? Yes. Did you show it there? Yes. Well, here I am. I'm just How about the jury? Let me rephrase. I'm an outside observer like you. I mean, obviously, I didn't see a single day of it, but uh, I know the two trial prosecutors who handled the case, and I know uh, a number of the officers who testified in the case. So, you know, my expectation is that he absolutely got a fair trial. As it was a verdict today, I didn't even know. No, I saw Michelle McPhee, and she said Friday. Friday, okay. Does anybody else on the board have any questions for district attorney? Anybody else in the audience? This is your, chat, your chance to get the district attorney here. Anybody? One thing I should, if I, if I may, put one other thing out there. If, if there is, um, and I don't hear it so much here in the North End, but when I, I mentioned we, we're here to serve victims. So when a victim is injured or taking advantage of their job in any way, they have the right under our statutory law to make a victim impact statement to let the judge know how the crime affected <coughs> their families and, and, uh, and what they think would be an appropriate punishment. Um, I've instituted something called community impact statements. So if you feel as an organization or a group, a subgroup of this organization, that you'd like to come in and talk about, let's say somebody who's been convicted of graffiti or vandalism or willful malicious destruction of property or even any other crime, you can come together as a community to tell the court, listen, this is what I think or we think should happen to this defendant and how he, should, he or she should be punished. So know that that community impact statement mechanism is available to you for your use. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay.
proud to say I'm the first cousin of Tony Gelati here, and uh, thank you for having us. Um, the thing about the North End, um, you know, Captain Lee, uh, myself, in charge of the detective unit, and Tom Lima, who's in charge of community service, bring to the table is within the police department, there's an array of services. My services focus primarily on serious crimes and lastings, what we call popular crimes. And I'm happy to say, and this was long before I was here, and I'm happy to say, as long as I'm here, and I'm confident to say, going into the future, <coughs> that the North Bend will always be the safest neighborhood in the city of Boston. And that's very much attributed to people in this room. Um, we had an incident, and I'm not sure if I'm right here, but uh, somebody on this panel can correct me. Um, we had a couple of uh, men, desperados, if you will, uh, alleged to have a gun and rub some of a cell phone down on the end of Richmond near the nursing home that my mother used to direct years ago. And uh, they ran up Richmond Street, and unfortunately for them, they ran in the direction of Hanover Street. They should have ran down towards the water, they probably wouldn't have got away. But because they ran up towards Hanover Street, there were so many people who point out to the police where they were hiding, where they were, that an arrest was made, and as a result, two people were arrested for a hot robbery gun. There was no gun recovered. Personally, I don't think they had a gun, I think they alleged the gun. But the fact remains, had they gotten away, human nature being what it is, I'm sure they would have chose that area for the second time they were about to rob something. And Guy, were you involved in that? Are people in the store involved in that? Just John, but yeah, from a couple of people, a couple guys from Guy's store helped the police and the Connor Calf, I think. People that came out of the Connor Calf, and I'm not sure if Quattro was involved, but people came out and they helped the police. And they said, you don't get that in every neighborhood. We have a couple more crimes that I'm concerned with in the last three months. There was an incident involving um, a restaurant on Hanover Street where the owner stepped out at about 11 o'clock at the end of the night and I guess often takes the monetary receipts home with her to deposit and there was somebody waiting for her. Fortunately, she made it to a car and locked the door before the person can get at it. But that concerns me because it wasn't a, she wasn't a chance victim. It appears by all logic that that person was waiting for her. I'm not that extreme. So these things are at a minimum, but when they do occur, we always give it a, a very serious response. I have an affinity for the North End. I have a district that includes other neighborhoods. But because I'm so welcome here and comfortable here, and I have people that talk to me here, there's always a high degree of probability that these cases will be solved. So I just wanted to thank you, thank the community, thank you for the help on that arrest. And please continue to work with us because, frankly, we're, we're, we're so, you know, in, at times, unresourced. <coughs> with so many events going on downtown, sometimes it's difficult to have a consistent presence, and it's up to you folks to let us know what's going on. I'm going to leave some business caps right on this table. I'm going to stay for the whole meeting. I'd like the DA. I have no place else to go after this, so I'm going to stay until the end. But if any of you want to come up to me and talk to me, and, any questions? Okay, any questions? Um, how about any questions of Captain Lee aside from you? Well, I just want to say a couple of things.
things are out of control. It's never happened before. So I just did the numbers quickly, looking at them. We have a 22% reduction over last year in the North End in Part 1 crime. There were 86 Part 1 crimes so far this year. This time, last year at this time, 110. So crime went down. But what will happen is one crime will happen and people will say, hey, which one business is that of us get involved? And that's a natural reaction. I feel the same way. So I don't want people to think that we're being overrun with crime. We're not. We had five robberies this year. We had five robberies last year, year to date. It's the exact same. Any robberies are too much. But the North End continues to be the safest neighborhood in the city, without a doubt. We're in the city, though. So we always have some crime. We'd like to knock it all out. And I appreciate people want more police. I want more police in the neighborhood. But obviously, we cover a large area. We have a lot of people. And we have the options. We have to make our best use of putting them there. But we never leave the North End without police. We always make sure that we have police in the North End. And we're going to continue to do that. Actually, our biggest complaint usually in the North End is quality of life. When people complain about they might hear some noise, or they might have a, some kids might have had a fight after the feast or something. Obviously, that concerns us also. And we are going to make sure we have more police officers out for the next feast. What happened was with details, the details aren't always filled. There wasn't a lot of officers that took the detail. We did have some on duty people here. But next time we realized, OK, whether there's details or not, I'll make sure we have some more police officers down for the next piece as we get into some of the larger piece to make sure that these type of incidents don't happen. Because we all want the same thing. The business owners, the residents, we want people to come to North End. This is a great place, it's a safe place, and we always want to put that message out. And I just wanted to just mention that, Donna, and say hello to everybody. Well, thank you, Captain Lee. Thank you. Walking. I, I, I agree with you. I'd love to have 
the ability to have an officer or say on hand on the street. I've got a major street all the time walking. That's something they need to do. Well, I'm down over, for, you know, all over the north end. Up she, all over the north end, just walking. <coughs> Some motorcycles, 
as we know, a lot than others, and you know, the pipes have been altered. And I used to just for the record say, I ride a motorcycle, I own a motorcycle. But your motorcycle doesn't have to be loud. You can go someplace, have a nice cup of coffee without disturbing the whole, whole neighborhood. So part of that, unfortunately, there's a citation process, and the process is very difficult because the musclers have a number on them. It's underneath the bike, though. So you actually have to have a mirror on it to see if it's a legitimate muffler. And I'll tell you, there's not a lot of on that enforcement on the muffler, on the muffler ordinance. It really doesn't happen a lot. It's better just to, if we get the call, we go down there and just you know, let them know, hey, turn up. You don't have to get up, guys, when you're pulling out. Just go out nice and easy. Thank you. I'll do that. Maybe I'm interested in what you said. Are you all going to stay? No, so I don't even have to go to another one. I just want to recognize Bill Ollendale and Matt Conti who attend all of our meetings monthly. They get the message out to everybody in this room. And, uh, they do a great job at it. And they call us on a daily basis. They try and get day-to-day -day knowledge out to everyone here for any incident that happens out on the street. And we truly appreciate that. Normally we get 60 to 80 people. A lot of people in this room attend those meetings. And that's what it's all about. It's about partnership problem solving and crime prevention. So I'd just like to say thank you everybody for that. Thank you so much. Uh, 
that will bring business and people into the neighborhood. We're kind of under the gun here with timing, but we're going to try really hard to get it done. So, um, I guess it's Foxwoods, Frankie. Through uh, Foxwoods, through Frankie, uh, they're going to sponsor uh, uh, banners on all the posts up and down the street. And on those banners, we're going to have, uh, you know, because it is Italian Heritage Month, famous Italians in history and currently. You know, not Tony Soprano and things like that. You know, obviously, uh, you know, Machiavelli, Fermi, Da Vinci, you know, Sinatra, famous Italian Americans. That would be a nice touch. They do that in San Diego. Uh, San Diego, which has a much smaller Little Italy than we do, but it, it's very nice the way they do it. Um, we're also going to try to put on a, a fashion show and have a, a concert with a, a famous uh, Neapolitan singer, I believe. And that hopefully we can get the problem to do that, or we might have to partner up with uh, with the uh, Christopher Columbus Association uh, and do it at the waterfront. We don't know yet. But we're trying to get this done as soon as possible. Bobby's going to help us with the fashion show and with the cars. And what we want to do is we want to show what Italian culture is about, what history is about. You know, we're not all about meatballs and, and stuff like that. We're about you know important things. We've contributed a lot of history, and we're proud to display that. And, and we want to show that. Now, whether or not you're Italian, you know, you are a part of this community, and you should, when it comes to being a part of this community, you know, you guys are here. You, you invested in your businesses, you've invested in your homes. Your attraction was that it was a nice, safe neighborhood, a little Italy attracting you. So let's try to promote that. Let's all be included in this, whether whatever color or ethnicity or nationality, it doesn't matter. You know, you're part of Little Italy, so help us to make this a great Little Italy and help us to get the exposure we need in these trying times. Um, you know, let's embrace this neighborhood, let's not let it go away. You know, people are saying all oh, times are changing. You know, uh, you know, we don't want things to change. We want to keep it as intact as possible. Because let me tell you, to us, you know, maybe we don't appreciate it as much as outsiders do. But when you talk to tourists, to people from out of town, and they're in the North End, they're like, oh my God, this is the best little Italy. I feel like I'm in Italy, you know, blah, blah, blah. If we don't keep that, then what do we really have? We have a South End over here. So we should try to keep that intact. And let's all contribute to it, no matter what our heritage is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Many of you know that have been attending our meetings all along. We have done a, a, a really yeoman job, I believe, um, on an advertising campaign to try to promote the North End. We have um, we've engaged 50 cabs, taxis, and they're going throughout the city, Albany Airport, and all around, all the hotels. And on the taxi tops, it says, when you see it at the back there, it says Boston's Historic North End, Little Italy. And it says sponsored by the North End Chamber of Commerce. You're going to see this theme throughout. Our stationery has Boston's Historic North End, Little Italy, the North End Chamber of Commerce. We're also promoting that the North End is a fabulous place to shop, dine, and live. And our website's reflecting that. So we have the, how many people have seen the taxi tops? Do you love them? Yes. I, I, I just think they're fabulous and they, that they're really, really promoting the North End. So let's a round of applause for you. And on your tables, you're going to see have bumper stickers. And please take them if you're going to use them. We'd love to see them on vehicles throughout the city. Um, it's a great little theme. One of the things we've added to it is to follow us to the North End. And we want plenty of people coming in here. That's only going to build all of our businesses. So put them on your vehicles and, and get them on your vehicles, employees' vehicles, and, and help us promote this. Unfortunately, we don't have the member decals right now. Uh, we had them, and, and there was a little bit of a glitch with them, and we reordered them. And as soon as we have them, every member will have them to put them on their business, and, and they're really fabulous. So once we get them, you will get them. Uh, so I apologize if you don't have that. We do have with us today um, Allison Sinclair from Comcast. Uh, many of you may be aware that Comcast has been running an ad, ad that we put together for the North End. Many of you have seen it before. It's only a 30-second ad, so bear with us. You're going to see it again. For those of you who haven't seen it, it'll be your first time. And uh, you'll see that on the table is uh, this sheet here. And this is a listing of when the ad showing is done. It's 12 more, showings, uh, 12 more days of the ad showing. It's been showing out for several weeks. And uh, so, Allison, if you could get that going, thank you very much. This is 
Okay, moving right along, we're going to have um, an update on our website. And if any of you have been on the website the last couple of weeks, we shut it down because it was um, not up to date. And now we have um, uh, professionals working on it with Chris Young to get this up to date. We also had um, Jose Duarte from Toronto. Tar Restaurant, he's been very instrumental in helping us too. He's not even here with us today. We have Chris Young now talk about what's happening with our website. We're pretty excited. We also have um, Max Minow here from Leapbound. I'm mean, Mario, I'm sorry, Mario Minow from Leapbound, who's been working on this and we really appreciate his hard efforts. So, take away, Chris. After some of our Wednesday meetings, we decided to revamp the website and we contracted Leapbound, and the owner Mario Semino is here. I'm going to defer to him where the time is short so he can show you uh, the new website that's going into effect. But please keep in mind it's important that you return the phone calls of the people that are going to be calling the businesses because if we have bad information on the website as far as your business, no one's going to be able to get there. And since the new website is up, we've already got the two hits of people coming into the website, you know, logging on and looking. It just so happens for two restaurants asking for suggestions on restaurants to go to eat. One was an anniversary and one was just a special occasion. So the website is going to work between the, but if it's not updated with proper information, people go to the QR code and they get into the website, they'll never make it to your business. Mario, take it away. Hi, thank you for having me guys. My name is Mario Sina. I work for Linkbound. We specialize in mobile web design, search engine marketing, and social media. So for the past couple of weeks, we've been working on the desktop and the mobile website. I don't think that's All right, just a little loud, just because the kids outside. Thank you. So we've been working on the desktop and the mobile website with the goal of driving more traffic to all the local businesses. This is the desktop website on the left. We've also designed a mobile website on the right. Now the desktop and the mobile website both have different uh, target audiences. The desktop website is most likely going to be direct traffic. So, for example, I'm showing the, the URL right now. You guys can visit it. If, for example, if you have a laptop, that's a direct conversion. So you guys go right to the website. This is most likely a business-oriented user, not someone who will be seeing the mobile website. So the things that we want at the desktop website to have is browse member directory. You can think about and learn about joining the North End Chamber of Commerce. You can connect with social media like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Twitter, watch some YouTube videos, and also contact each other. So how do they find this site? Like Tony and Chris have discussed, you guys are going to have these QR codes right on the right sign over there. And what you can do is you can pull out your phone and you can scan the QR code. Now when you scan the QR code, it's going to send you to the mobile website that we've designed, which is on the right. You guys can actually go to it right now if you want. I'll show you that. So the mobile website, when you get to the mobile website, you'll be able to see directions to any of the businesses within the North End. You'll be able to see coupon, we can grab some more incentive to different businesses and restaurants. You have the restaurant directory, and like I just mentioned, you have the business directory, which has included everything else. They can also find local events, like the St. Anthony's Feast coming up, they can connect with social media, like Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So like Kate said, we want to get you guys on this list. Um, I believe Tony said she has two women working for her. We will call you to get this information. You can also send me an email, modelmarketing.com. What I need from you guys is a business name, a short description of the business, a logo, so whatever you want to use on the directory listing. This is going to go on the mobile phone and the desktop phone. So I need you to send me all that information. And the most important thing, the thing I'm concerned about is that when we send you from the mobile website, from the North End Chamber website, we want to make sure that where we're sending these users is also mobile friendly. So if they're going to your website and it's not mobile friendly, most likely they're going to leave because they have to zoom in on the phone, they have to you know, pinch and the buttons are hard to click. So you guys, if you don't know if your website is mobile again, send me an email, mario.com.com. You can talk with me at the end and it takes literally seconds to tell if your website's mobile friendly. So again, like I just mentioned, the mobile front is very important. And again, here's my email. The, the website address is the same. All we did was just came with the design of it, and we added the mobile website. So the most important part here is those QR codes. Um, like we said, we've already received two inquiries from the QR codes and the mobile website. So if you guys have any questions, I'll be hanging around. 
I don't need my business cards up front. Can you go, can you go to the website? On yeah. That? Actually, you guys are. <coughs> so this is uh, the mobile website. And basically, when they arrive, they will be scanning the QR code. And they can also see things to do. So we have the home, restaurant, there's final events, coupons. This will allow them to contact you guys and connect with social media. So for example, if they click eat right down here at the bottom, here are some of the restaurants that I put in there already. Now I just put these in here for examples, but if you guys can update me with uh, the logo that you want and uh, the description, because these descriptions aren't that great. Uh, and like I said, when you click on these directories, they'll go to your website. Can you log on to the Nothing Chamber website from here? The desktop website you won't be able to see because I don't have Wi-Fi. Okay. Questions? That's great. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to echo what um, Tony's already said, and Chris has already said, and Mario's already said. We really, really need you to be receptive when you get a phone call, no matter how busy you are. Your top priority should be to get to that phone when they say they're from the Northern Chamber of Commerce because it's only going to be effective if we have data information from you. So please take those calls. Or at least take your name and phone number down and get back to them as soon as you can because we really need to have that information. We've also been talking with Mario mm -hmm. also. Uh, some of you, maybe your website's a little outdated. Uh, he's going to be working out a plan where you can give discount to all the chamber members to bring you up to speed so you are mobile. I'm sure a lot, a lot of you probably work for the restaurants. You see the people standing in front of your business with their I did, yeah. iPhone out. What, the hell are you? what they're doing is they're, they're looking, whether it's Yelp or they're, they're logging on to see something about your website. Something that you might want to do is if you do talk to Mario, he helps you to get your website up to speed. You may want to get your own QR code right on the window in your business. So when someone comes in with an iPhone or a smartphone, they can scan your QR code and go directly to your menu, directly to whatever. You may want to offer a coupon, but only do it online. They can do all those things right off of the phone. Because, I mean, I walk around, I don't own a restaurant, but I walk around and I see a lot of people, young people you know, yeah. with their iPhones out, whether they're logging into just your name of the restaurant, but I mean, that's where everybody's going. Okay, we're going to move right on to the open discussion part of our meeting and just like to open up if you have any questions for Allison, if you have any questions for Detective Chuck Wilson, any questions for the board, we want to hear from you. Here's your time. Suggestions? How are we doing so far? You can give us a round of applause if you think we're doing a good job.